Hello everyone and welcome to another Symphony tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to add a menu item from scratch and create a category for it here. We're gonna create a drink special category and add our menu item there. Big thank you for VisitRoan for suggesting this topic. If you have a topic for a future video, please be sure to leave it in the comments below. And with that, let's get into it. Today, we are adding our drink specials, but this process is identical for food items as well. So why bother adding specials? For one, people like trying new stuff when coming to a restaurant or bar, it's good to experiment with new stuff from time to time. And with a little bit of social media buzz, using specials can turn a slow day into an awesome one. So let's take a look at the steps involved in creating a new menu item from scratch. First, we will find an area on the screen where to add our new items. If you are adding new items alongside existing ones, you can skip this step. Next, we will decide to use screen lookups or hard-coded buttons. Then, we will add the tabs we need in page design and the screen lookups. And finally, we will add our new menu items to the database and display them on the screen. And with that, let's jump into EMC and start programming. So here we are in EMC. Let's go ahead and open page design to see where we're going to add our new menu. I'm going to open my transactions page. And I'm going to change the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 to match my widescreen workstations. So these are the tabs I have at the top. I'm definitely going to add it under my drinks tab. And these are all the side tabs available. I'm just going to go ahead and create a new one. So I'll probably add it here between any beverages and cocktails. And I'll just call them drink specials. So in order to add a new side tab, go ahead and click on an existing one and then click add tab item. And this created this tab here on the bottom right. I'm going to use the arrows to move it up a little bit. So I want it between my NA bevs and my cocktails. And I'm going to change the name here. And it's just going to be named drink specials. And now we have all of this empty area in the center. I can go ahead and save. The next thing we need to do is decide if we're going to use a screen lookup or we're going to hard code the buttons. Now, each of these approaches have their advantages and disadvantages. If we are going to use a screen lookup, like for example, where we have our non-alcoholic beverages, if you see this, this is an entire block and the menu items just appear by themselves here. This approach is easier to program and we can also add these filters on the side where we can select the first letter of the menu item and that's going to filter automatically the screen. If we want to try using hard-coded menu items, like for example we have here in our bar mods, you see each of these individual buttons are actual individual menu items. These are a little bit more difficult to program, however, they offer a lot more control than the slews themselves. We can add individual colors, shapes, sizes, and everything else like that. For my drink specials, I will choose to use a screen lookup. And since I'm going to use a screen lookup, I need to go ahead and create one. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of page design, go to my descriptors tab, and look for slew names for menu items. And these are all the slews that I have. The populated ones have names and the empty fields here are available to be used. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here at position 29. I'm trying to keep my cocktails with my other cocktails. And I'm just gonna say drink specials. So now I have slew number 29 assigned to this drink specials screen lookup. Go ahead and save and close the tab. Now we can go back to page design and we can actually add it on the screen now that it is created. Change the aspect ratio back, go back to my drinks area. And the easiest way to do is actually copy an existing screen lookup so I don't have to adjust the size and the colors again. I'm just going to right click on it, go ahead and copy it, go to my drink specials, 
and just paste it in place. I'll move it up and make it expand it a little taller. And the only thing I need to change is the value here on the left. I need to assign it to that value that I just created just now. So number 29. So basically what I'm telling this screen lookup is any menu item that gets assigned to this value number 29 should populate on the list here. So any menu item I'm adding in the future, I don't have to manually add it. They're just going to show by themselves. I can go ahead and save page design and close it. And now that we took care of all the preparations, we can go ahead and add the menu items themselves. To do that, I'm going to open menu item maintenance, click the search key in order to populate my database. And I'm going to locate an area in the database where I'm going to add my new items. What I'm looking for are some drinks. So I don't want to add them with food specials in order to keep my database nice and clean. So I found my NA beverages here and we have teas, coffees. Here are my classic cocktails. And since I'm using slew position number 29, I'm going to use menu item position number 29,000 in order to add them here. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a header. So I'm going to select an existing header. For this, I can use a template since it's just a simple header. And I'm going to send this to position 29,000. And I'm going to name it. Drink Specials. And go ahead and click OK. So now that I have my position where I'm going to add my menu items, we can go ahead and start. For my first drink special, I'm going to add a $5 mimosa. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the insert key. From the task to perform, I'm going to say add menu item without a template since we're adding everything from scratch. And the name, I'm going to add it here. Next, I'm going to select the major group and this being a champagne based cocktail, I'm just going to select wines. And then in the family group, I'm going to select a glass of wine sparkling. For the reporting group, this is going to be part of group four since it's part of major group wine. And I'm going to let it go to the record number 29,001. So it's going to appear right under drink specials. And then I can click OK. And now I have my menu item master record for my special mimosa. The next thing I need to do is add the definition. So with the menu item selected, I'm going to click the insert again. And from the task to perform, I'm going to say add definition to master. So I'm not going to check the box to use a template. And I'm just going to check the box to add definition one and then click OK. Confirm. And now we have our definition added. So we can go ahead and add all the information needed to it. Just going to go to my definition records here. And the first thing we need to add is our menu item class. So I can just click the ellipses, scroll down. And I'm going to select the liquor item class and click OK. Next, we have the print class override, which I don't need to change. The default print class that comes with the liquor menu item class is just fine. For the main level, I'm going to make it available all the time. So I'm just going to click select all, make sure that that is selected. And I'm going to do the same for the sub level. Click OK. Next, I'm going to scroll a little bit to the right. And we have our slew or screen lookup. This is a screen lookup that we added earlier. So the one that we're looking for is number 29. So again, I'm going to scroll down and locate my drink specials. And this is basically what's telling the computer to add this particular menu item and show it on that particular screen. This is all the information we need for right now. And all I have to do is save. Now that my definition is ready, I need to add the third component of this menu item, which is the price record. So I'm going to highlight it again, click my plus and select to add a price sequence and then click OK. Confirm. And now that my price sequence has been added, all I have to do is go to the price records and add a price for it. 
So since this is going to be my special mimosa, I'm just going to make it $5. And then go ahead and save. Now that all the information is added, let's go to a workstation and see if it worked. Alright, here we are at our local workstation. The first thing that I'm going to need to do is click this quick update database button in order to receive all the updates. And go ahead and sign in. I'm going to begin a fast transaction. And then I'm going to go to my drinks area. And as you can see, our drink special key is here, which is perfect. And if I click on it, there we have our special mimosa. And the price is correct. So everything is perfectly programmed. If you'd like to add a regular menu items to your screen, the only difference would be to change to a different menu item class. Every other step of the process would be the same. If you are interested in more Symfony tutorials, we have created an entire platform that will teach you everything you need to know in order to maintain your Oracle Micro Symfony POS system. You can also ask for help from our programming team. You can access everything by visiting simsupport.online. And as a special thank you, I am also including a coupon code for you. You can find all the details in the description below. Leave a like if you found this helpful and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.